so hello guys how are you all hope you are good so today we are back with the new editorial and today's editorial is from code first is around 697 it is div3 round but it is not rated okay and we are discussing problem b of this contest the name of the problem is new year number new year's number okay so what the first statement basically tells us is that we are given an integer n and we need to find that is uh, is it possible that we add uh, 2020 some amount of time and 2021 some amount of time okay and their sum is equals to uh, n okay so let me tell you this with a example okay suppose the n is equals to 8081 8081 and we need to find that if we add some amount of 2020 and some amount of 2021 the sum will be equals to 8081 okay so yes it is possible if we add 3 2020 3 times 2020 and one time okay one time 2021 okay then the sum will be equals to 8081 so we we need to just basically tell us that if we add some times of 2021 and some time of 2020 uh, their sum will be uh, their sum will be equals to n or not okay so uh, my logic will be like suppose this is my number 8081 okay suppose this is my number 8081 and we kept on um, yeah so the number will, uh, the times we can add is 2020 okay four times 2020 okay sorry for date guys only two seconds guys 20 21 okay so all these sums will be the sum of all these five elements will be equals to 8081 correct now we just need to find that oh sorry one second guys i just need to delete this yeah so sum of all these three fours okay this is still here sum of all these four elements four numbers will be equals to 8081 so my logic is like that we decrement 2021 from 8081 till the time we didn't get any number which is completely divisible by 2020 okay so let me repeat it we will decrement 2021 from the nth uh, n okay we will decrement 2021 from n till we don't get any number which is divisible by 2020 which is completely divisible by 2020 so this is my logic and yeah i didn't need to prove it because it is a simple logic that if we decrement 2021 from it and so if we suppose here 2021 is coming once time okay so suppose it was 8081 if we decrement 2021 from it okay then we will get um 6 uh, yeah 60660 uh, okay 6 Six thousand sixty. Hope it. Uh, yeah, we will get that only six thousand sixty. So it is divisible by twenty uh, twenty. Okay. So we will check. We will decrement twenty twenty one from the nth element, and we will check that uh, is it divisible by n or not. And this is the code, guys. And yeah, we will take an integer n. We will take our. Uh, we will input n. This is answer is useless. Delete this. Okay, so we will uh, run a loop while the n is not divisible by twenty twenty. Okay, and okay, while n is not divisible by twenty twenty completely, and we we will check if it is divisible by completely divisible by twenty twenty one. Then we will print yes because uh, suppose the number is like if it is okay. So uh, so so suppose the number is like uh, something like um. 10 times 2021 so it is not divisible by 2020 but it is divisible by 2021 and it can be achieved so we will do it okay so yeah we we'll, this is for that and then we will decrement n minus uh, n is minus or equals to 2020 one and then we will check if the num n is less than 2020 that means it is not divisible by 2020 neither 2021 and it cannot be formed basically Then we will print no and return as 
if this condition at the end becomes true then we will print yes okay guys so this much is the logic and the code i will link this code in the description if you want yeah this is a very simple problem and i will be uploading the solution for other problem also so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel subscribe the channel guys please so thanks for watching guys video next time till then bye bye